it's not my fault that you live 25 minutes outside the city and Uber doesn't allow me to charge you a pickup fee to come pick you up and now you can't get an Uber. It's not my fault that you chose to move on the fourth floor of an apartment complex knowing that you get deliveries and you don't like to tip. It ain't my fault that you moved to an apartment complex that has a door code and if I can't get in, I'm leaving your food outside, AKA I'm eating your food. I'm calling customer service and canceling that order. It's not my fault that you choose to have no type of respect for our safety and turn your porch light on at 11 o'clock when you know good and well, you don't have address on your house. So we're gonna get lost and we're gonna once again eat your food. It's not my fault that you choose to get drunk, get in the car, irresponsibly, ignorantly throw up in my back seat now you get charged 150 dollars cleanup fee it's not my fault that you don't have a car you don't drive and you want to stop five different places once again no tip and that ride only cost eight nine dollars it's not my fault that you were too lazy to go walk and get your own food so you choose to order off doordash not tip and now an hour and a half hour and 45 minutes later you get your food and it's cold you want to blame us it ain't our fault uh, it ain't our fault for any of these things but uh, I'm tired of these customers going in on us complaining uh, about not getting an order today is a no tip day for me okay meaning I'm not dealing with people who don't want to tip people who want to be responsible people that have no consideration for us as drivers because I um, did a TikTok the other day and actually I deleted it because uh, it was too much craziness. You know, I'm already dealing with trolls and haters on, on this channel. So with the TikTok, I was new to that world. But a lot of people was mad because I, um, I, also, I did that video again on um, YouTube Shorts. But they were mad that I did not deliver food for a guy who, it wasn't Jay Money or the guy from yesterday, but his name had money in it. And this guy didn't tip. The order was $2.50 attached to an order that the person tipped $8, okay? So uh, I canceled on him. He actually wrote me and asked me to make sure I get extra ketchup and mayonnaise. And I was gonna text him back and say, make sure I get a tip and then um, remove him. But I just said, no, I'm not gonna risk the activation. So I just removed him um, from the uh, batch and I delivered to the first person because they tipped me and they were shorter just as anyway. And it's a coincidence that this is the second time in two days that this happened. Because yesterday I had another guy with money in his name who was 5.5 miles away and he his order was only $3. But the first order was only three miles away and it was $6.50 that I got paid. Um, I just had enough of these people who don't tip these people and they're always entitled to ask for extra stuff once you do extra stuff once you go through hoops and hurdles you know like when I was doing riot share uh, these are the people who you knew were going to tip because they always will have you like drive around back after you're sitting out front for four minutes they'll say hey can you come pick up me up in the back or they'll want to go three or four different places you know they'll want to go to the corner store to the freaking liquor store then they want to go to uh, a McDonald's then they want to go to their friend house pick up some weed or something and then they want to go home and that ain't my responsibility, okay? If you're not gonna tip me, then you keep requesting rides and you pay the ride fee, you know? And that's the pro and that's the point. Um, yes, these ride share companies, we're supposed to be independent contractors, um, but we're really employees and I should have the right to not do all of those um, stops and nothing happens, you know? But guess what? I don't get that right. But I make it my right because I don't care. I don't do them. Um, now I can see if you, you know one stop, maybe two. If the first stop you went in and out, but three, four ain't doing it unless you literally are offering me a ten dollar cash tip or you tell me that your tip you just tipped an app, and I can see it was Lyft immediately. So yeah, we have to. People have to get a grip because you know these people are just entitled, um, and they want to like push it back on us to say we as drivers are entitled no it's just that we are in an industry that just like plumbers and and uh, roofers and you know you're uh, you're trying to get a service and it's our choice to give you service 
you know, people, they're trying to force us to give them service. You know, they're trying to force us to deal with them, but we, we shouldn't have to deal with them. You know, if I don't want to um, deliver your, your sandwich for no tip, I shouldn't have to, you know? And I should know where the order's going. I should know how far it's going. I should know all of this. I shouldn't have to take a gamble on if you're gonna tip or not because it's an extremely inconvenient order, you know? And I'm hoping that enough of us drivers start doing videos like this to get these rideshare companies to wake up and realize, or a politician or just somebody to change the system because it's same really life. And yes, I only have a few weeks left of doing this, depending on how things go, because it might, I might have to extend it. Who knows? I'm doing, doing what's best for me now. I'm not really thinking about what other people want me to do. But with that said, yeah, we have to um, figure this out because, you know, these customers are just too just way too entitled and they think that um, we're entitled because we just want decent respect, you know, we just want respect. You know, if you throw up in my car, I actually had a guy who was so entitled to this guy, like this was like six months ago. He urinated on my seat and my seat was wet. And I'm like, dude, did you just, you know, pee on my seat? He's like, no, no, dude, that was sweat, that was sweat. I'm like, dude, you peed on my seat. He's like, no, 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 dude, like, it's just sweat, because I ain't trying to pay a cash, I mean, um, a cleanup fee over, you know, this, and it's just sweat. I'm telling you, it's just sweat. I'm like, dude, all right, I got you. And I pulled up the block, sprayed with Lysol, you know, immediately, because I got to get in that back seat. Spray with Lysol, put sanitizer on it, and then I, um, cleanup fee. And then I had to go take it to one of these, um, we have a car wash that has like sanitary, um, they sanitize your seats and all that proper way. I had to pay 75 bucks for that. But of course I got the 150, so yeah, but these, these customers are just entitled, you know? And then like, if you know you didn't tip, why would I go out my way to get you ketchup and mayonnaise? If, if the restaurant, if you want that, you call the restaurant and ask them to give it to you. But it's not my responsibility. And like I said, I don't take no tip orders, but they get batched with people who do tip. And that's the reason why whenever somebody text me and ask for extra stuff it makes me look and see if they actually tipped in that batch and then you know, they skewed themselves because i always see it's always it's never the people that tipped it's always people that didn't tip they go in i go in and i remove them from the batch and usually they're far, farther than the first order that did tip or the second order that did tip that first order is always the non-tipper who's lived further away but they always set it up to where you got to go drop off their food first then you go to the, the um, tipper because they know that you're gonna more likely cancel after you pick up the first order. So yeah, we gotta get a grip. Because, um, you know, these roster companies, you know, yes, they're abusing us, but the customers are joining in on that on the action. Because I've never ever, ever ordered a service without expecting the tip, never. You know, nothing's changed. You know, I don't know if the culture changed, I don't know what's changed, but something gotta give. Um, but that's the video. If you agree, hit me with a like. If not, go in on me in the comments. But either way, I'm on one with non-tippers because um, of the past literally four days of trying to do DoorDash and the fact that I'm grayed out, not able to get sign on because I got to take crappy orders um, to drive any time to be a top dasher. And then I keep getting like 50 plus percent of my deliveries or offers that are sent to me or no tips. Something I gotta get, we gotta get this straight. I'm out, peace.